Well, practice number 13 is in the books. Um, a lot of situational football coming out. Uh, we had some third and third and longs and some fourth and fives. Then we had some two-minute situations. And you know, the guys have. I think they've done a good job, especially after this morning. I didn't think we practiced as well this morning. I thought our energy was down. Our execution was not as good as it needs to be. But they responded and came back and had a little bit more uh, vigor in their uh, in their bodies today. So it was good. It was a good uh, way to come back. Where's your number one offense at right now? You feel like they need to make a little bit of progress? Oh, absolutely. We all have to make progress. Every single phase of our football team has to make progress. But, uh, you know, you'd like to see them do a little bit better in that two-minute situation. We need to get some completions and understand the situations. But that's what learning is all about. Um, you know, you got a minute and one second on the clock, That's that for, and you only need a field goal. And that's a lifetime. That's a lifetime. So we got to understand those situations. Obviously, you flipped that though, and your defense got a lot. Defensive line, especially, got a lot of pressure yep. in those situations. Absolutely, too. Yeah. we need to be great on defense in terms of holding that runner down or that receiver down when he catches the ball, so he can't get up and milking three or four seconds off the clock. And, um, but it's all a learning process. It really is. Lucky practice number thirteen. You said all along this one was going to be the toughest uh, for the both sessions. Or, you like what you saw? I do like what I saw. I, would, I was hoping for a little bit more heat. We had played some heat songs, but uh, we didn't get the heat we wanted. It's kind of like a November day right now. Um, but uh, no, I like what I saw. Devin's going to be out for, probably for about two weeks or so. We'll get him back. Uh, Prince is a day-to-day -day deal. Uh, he took a little shot a couple days ago, so just waiting for him to clear up. Yeah, but we're we're a little nicked up right now, but not too bad. Nothing significant. Smith is a knee. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bruce is fine. He got a little little strain on his hand, but he will be fine. I told him, oh, I, can we get you back by mid-season? He looked at me like that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just the what what BJ's done for you uh, in camp and seems to. It's up to you whether he's solidified a spot, but just kind of how he's, how he's how he's progressed. Well, the thing that he does so well is he plays so fast, and uh, I mean, he gets the ball in his hands. He's explosive. You know, he plays fast without the ball, which is something you need to do as a receiver. Um, obviously, he's still not exactly where we need him to be assignment-wise, but you know, if you like the ball in his hands, you know, we can do some reverses with him, and you can push uh, over the top. Are you seeing those six emerge that you wanted to receive? Uh, not as clear as I like to see it yet, but uh, I think there's a there's capable bodies there. What's the depth chart at quarterback right now? Uh, we got one and the two and the three. <laughs> That's where we are. You had said coming into camp that you wanted to kind of split the reps a little bit with the ones. Over the last four or five days, Rob Henry has gotten almost all of the snaps and team work with the ones. Has he? Is he your starting right now? Uh, no, he's not. We have not made a decision on the quarterback. Is there a battle for number two right now, more there's than a battle, battle for, for number one? There's a battle for number one, two, and three, yes. I'm trying. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you would name a starting quarterback on Saturday. Is that still the plan? Probably Sunday. Okay. Sunday, Monday, yeah. So it's not the plan anymore. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, with the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Rouse is working now with the yeah. offensive line. Yeah. What, what predicated that move? You know, we thought that uh, for him to have a chance to really help us this year, is, and, and he was he was gracious about it. We called him in, and we sat him down last night, and said, "Hey, you have a chance to, to help us at one of those tackle spots if you can learn fast." So uh, I think if he can pick it up, he can help us. He's a big body who can move. You worried about being a little? I know you really like your depth on defense on the defensive line, especially inside. But when you look ahead to next year, are you even not looking at that? When you look, you to have like three or four scholarship defensive tackles. Here. We're trying to win in 2013. Right, we owe it to the seniors. Who moves into a spot on the defensive line? Well, he was he was running the third. Okay. So we had eight guys. And that's why we thought that the best of the team that we moved over the tackle. Right now. We'll see how it works. Uh, if it works, we'll leave it there. If it doesn't work, we'll move back. How long will you give him? Um, we'll, we'll go at least through the jersey scrimmage. Right now, he doesn't know the thing. He's never played it down. Right guards telling him what to do half the day. You block that guy. So I don't know how sophisticated that is, or how long you can get away with that. <laughs>